dear, oh dear, oh dear, poor Angama girls, no bacon for breakfast. So I don't think they're going to move too much now. It's quite warm and uh, they seem to be settled and they'll hopefully wait in this area till some poor unsuspecting prey species wanders in. So I think we're going to take a little bumble around the Mara now. So we're going to keep moving. Let's see what else is out there. I think we should go down towards the river. What do you think, Senzo? Yes, let's go down to the river. Now, a lot of you have been asking, where's James, when's he arriving, etc., etc. So, uh, Commander Bond will be arriving in the Mara tomorrow, and um, uh, so will Louise. And uh, Vim is finally leaving Nairobi after getting all the vehicles camera prepped and ready. And uh, VM will be landing at 12 o'clock today. We will be fetching him from an airstrip about 20 kilometers that way. And, uh, and then tomorrow with the arrival of Lou and James, we are at full contingent for the Mara. Uh, and uh, our fearless leader, uh, and our, or both our fearless leaders, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wallington, arrived today as well. So, we are going to be a full camp, yay! Happy camp! Last night, I'm not sure whose idea it was, but I'm pretty sure it probably was Rebecca Christensen to have the Shuka shakedown. So, our first night with most of us in camp, we all had to go uh, to, uh, to dinner wearing Shukas, and uh, it was called Shuka Shakedown Night. That definitely has a Rebecca ping, uh, uh, s ping to it. Or, or Jerry, maybe, but I think it was Rebecca. Okay. So this road loops down around towards the edge of the Mara River, and we're going to drive along the tree line for a little bit. Who knows, we might find some uh, gorgeous birdies, or who knows, more, more lions or even a leopard. Marissa. Marissa wants to know about the soil in the Mara and how rich is it and do flowers grow in it. Um, Marissa, indeed, it is a very, very good soil uh, and flowers do grow in it, but we are right at the end of the, the, the sort of rainy season now, so most of the flowers would have been in the first rains, which are around uh, November, December. Um, I've seen some Ipomeas or Morning Glories. Um, up on top around Ngama, I've seen some absolutely gorgeous uh, flame lilies or glori Gloriosa Superba. Um, so yeah, we've seen some really, really cool stuff. Well, one last look at the ladies. Uh, looking a little bit upset with themselves. Poor lions. Yes. You botched that up, my girl, and you should have just waited another minute or two and that warthog would have walked into your mouth. Yes, hang your head in shame. We're going to keep moving. Ah, apparently the gremlins cut off the story about my hat, and white lady Erin was wondering about that. So there's a reason I have a blue hat, not a green hat today. Now, over the last couple of days, this particular creature, Paka, has uh, been a little bit difficult, to say the least. And uh, I've spent a lot of time covered in diesel. And uh, I'm not talking about the fancy fragrance that people purchase. I mean actual diesel fuel. And uh, so that hat is completely, was dirty. And when I was bleeding, um, the, the sediment filter, it got, I had some diesel fall on it, so very, very smelly and dirty, so it's gone to get washed. And in the meantime, I have my blue hat that Jamie bought from Johannesburg for me. Oh, look at that. There is a hippo in the middle of the swamp. He's going to disappear. You can just see this. I just saw that. Caught the sun shining off his back. You see him, Sens? Did he disappear into a hole? How quick was that? He's gone. 
So there's obviously a, a pool in the middle of the swamp, and the hippo was walking out, and he's just disappeared. Imagine that, a, a couple of tons just vanishes into the swamp. Now, not yet, because it's uh, still a bit early, but as the day heats up, uh, the elephants will start moving towards the swamp. They really love it, the swamp in the, in the evening. There's lots and lots of ellies in the swamp. Now, I've been speaking about elephants and uh, the lack thereof in this area at this time of the day, but it sounds like Tristan is inundated with them.